Whether it's sweeping up a cow, a car, or a house, Hollywood loves a tornado. But when it comes to the iconic twister, there's really no place like home. The U.S. has more tornadoes than anywhere else in the world. Here's why. The truth is, scientists still don't fully understand how a tornado forms. But we do know that it all starts with a thunderstorm. Inside a big thundercloud, warm and humid air rises while cool air falls, along with the rain or hail. When the air becomes unstable, with winds at different altitudes blowing in different directions or at different speeds, this can produce rolling, spinning air currents within the cloud. This spinning column of air starts out horizontal. When conditions rotate it vertically, it can drop down out of the cloud. If it does and touches the ground, watch out. It's a tornado. Tornadoes are typically 300 to 500 yards wide, the record being 2.6 miles wide in Oklahoma in 2013. They're whirling winds clocking in up to 300 miles an hour. Intensity is rated from zero to five based on the tornado's overall damage. Since modern records began in 1950, the deadliest and costliest tornado in U.S. history hit in Joplin, Missouri in 2011. The EF5 tornado caused 161 deaths, more than 8,000 structures were damaged, with losses estimated at $3 billion. This destructive weather phenomena can happen anywhere across the globe, but as many as 90% of the world's tornadoes form here in the U.S., mostly in the central area of the U.S., which many refer to as Tornado Alley. The term Tornado Alley was coined by two Air Force meteorologists in 1952. It describes the tornado-prone region situated between the Rockies and the Mississippi River, from North Texas up through the Great Plains to Nebraska. The idea of a tornado alley can be misleading, though, as tornadoes actually hit a much larger swath of the U.S. Tornado season shifts from the southeast in the cooler months of the year towards the southern and central plains in May and June and the northern plains and Midwest during early summer. A research team at Purdue University believes that the central area for tornado activity has moved east from Oklahoma to Alabama. Researchers believe the shift is related to warmer weather causing increased moisture coming off the Gulf of Mexico. Tornadoes in the deep south tend to be deadlier than those in the plains due to an expanding population, longer and larger tornado paths, more mobile homes, and more nighttime tornadoes. Although twisters have been reported in all 50 states, why do they gravitate toward these parts of the country? The answer is location, location, location. Dry, cold air from Canada moves south over the Rocky Mountains, meeting warm, moist air traveling north from the Gulf of Mexico. Combining with warm, dry air from the southwest, making the U.S. fertile grounds for tornadoes. Tornadoes are recorded all over the world, but the U.S. experiences far more than anywhere else. On average, there are about 1,200 tornadoes each year in the U.S., while all of Europe experiences an average of 300 tornadoes per year. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.